The Bible tells that during the end times, God will pour out His wrath as judgment for the sins of the world, and as a final call for humanity to repent and worship Him. In the book of Revelation, the Apostle John narrates the vision the Lord gave him about this future time. This judgment will be divided into two parts, the seven seals and the seven trumpets. In this video, we will specifically talk about the seven seals in his vision. John sees an angel searching for someone who is worthy to open the book that will initiate judgment in the world. The apostle weeps because the Bible says that no one was found worthy to open the book and look at it. But one of the 24 elders looks at John and says, Do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah. The root of David has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. At that moment, John sees Jesus in the center of the throne, surrounded by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb then takes that scroll for only he is worthy to open it. Then those around him fell to the ground and worshipped him. Christ then began to break each seal, revealing his judgment on the earth. See what each of the seven seals of Revelation means. The first seal, the coming of the Antichrist. The Apostle John wrote, I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. Then I heard one of the four living creatures say in a voice like thunder, Come. I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror, bent on conquest. The first four seals are known as the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and the first of them opens the doors for the Antichrist to come to the world. In this vision, the white horse and the crown symbolize that he will be a powerful figure who will come with the speech of promoting peace throughout the world. However, the bow that the rider holds in his hands shows that his true intention is to deceive people and dominate the world. The second seal, the spirit of war. About the second seal, John had the following vision. Then another horse came out, a fiery red one. Its rider was given power to take peace from the earth and to make people kill each other to him was given a large sword. The second seal opened by Jesus marks the arrival of the spirit of war, which will cause the bloodiest battles in human history. During this period, a large part of the planet's inhabitants will die. Notice that this rider on the red horse has a great sword, and it is believed to represent punishment. That is, God will make the worshippers of the beast and the false prophets suffer the consequences. The third seal, the spirit of famine. John described the vision this way. When the lamb opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come, I looked, and there, before me, was a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then I heard what sounded like a voice among the four living creatures, saying pound two of wheat for a day's wages, and pound six of barley for a day's wages, and do not damage the oil and the wine. In Jewish culture, the color black means mourning, affliction, and famine. And that's exactly what the rider on the black horse will bring to the world. When Jesus opens the third seal, notice that he carries a balance, which, according to scholars, represents economic crisis and famine, as the balance would be a symbol of the lack of food and exorbitant prices. This means that people will have to work very hard to be able to buy a little bit of food. To give you an idea, a denarius was the common daily wage. This means that people will spend all their income to get little sustenance. The fourth seal, the spirit of death. Next, the Apostle John brings revelations about the arrival of the last writer. He said, when the Lamb opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Its rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. They were given power over a fourth of the earth to kill by sword, famine, and plague, and by the wild beasts of the earth. The opening of the fourth seal will allow the spirit of death to end the lives of a quarter of the earth's population. And unfortunately, many of these people will be taken to hell. They will die because of war, famine, and diseases caused by the openings of the previous seals and also by the attacks of wild animals that due to the lack of food will devour humans. The fifth seal, the desire for justice. When John saw Jesus open the fifth seal, he reported, when he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God and the testimony they had maintained. 
They called out in a loud voice, How long, Sovereign Lord, holy and true, until you judge the inhabitants of the earth and avenge our blood? Then each of them was given a white robe, and they were told to wait a little longer until the full number of their fellow servants, their brothers and sisters, were killed, just as they had been. As soon as the fifth seal was opened by Jesus, all those Christian men and women who had lost their lives because of their faith in Christ asked the Lord how long it would take for those who killed them to be judged. They were then instructed to wait patiently until other Christians who were still on earth were also persecuted and killed. In other words, other believers still needed to be martyred. The sixth seal, a great catastrophe in the universe. John's vision during the opening of the seal turned to the entire earth and solar system, he said. I watched as he opened the sixth seal. There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like sackcloth, made of goat hair. The whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell to earth as figs dropped from a fig tree. When shaken by a strong wind, the heavens receded like a scroll being rolled up, and every mountain in Ireland was removed from its place. Then the kings of the earth, the princes, the generals, the rich, the mighty, and everyone else, both slave and free, hid in caves and among the rocks of the mountains. They called to the mountains and the rocks fall on us and hide us from the face of him who sits on the throne. And from the wrath of the Lamb for the great day of their wrath has come. And who can withstand it? The greatest catastrophe in all of human history will happen with the opening of the sixth seal, a cosmic phenomenon involving the planets, the sun, the moon, the stars, and all other celestial bodies will terrorize the entire world population. Then people will be certain that the end of times is getting closer. Probably the Apostle John had difficulties transforming into words all that his eyes really saw on this occasion. Such was its grandeur during this terrifying period. An angel shows John that 144,000 people will receive God's seal to be protected from the wrath of the Father. These 144,000 sealed will preach the good news to people and many will convert to Christ in the last days. The seventh seal, the seven trumpets. If the opening of the first seals had already left John amazed and at the same time astonished before the magnitude of God's power, the opening of the last seal showed the apostle that even more terrible things were about to happen. He described when he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour, and I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all God's people on the golden altar in front of the throne. The smoke of the incense, together with the prayers of God's people, went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar and hurled it on the earth. And there came peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. The opening of the seventh seal of the book brings terrible consequences to the earth. However, before that, there is a period of absolute silence as if God were waiting for people to repent of their sins and turn to Him. But even in the face of so many disasters, millions of people will not repent of their mistakes and instead curse the Lord for everything that will happen. Then, after this period of silence, the angels will begin to sound their trumpets, and with each blow, much worse judgments will happen until finally Jesus will return in glory and power. Therefore, my dear brother, my dear sister, it is time for us to stand firm with Jesus, for only with Him is our salvation guaranteed, and we need not fear the future. This was another words of faith. If you liked it, subscribe here to my channel and share this message with your friends.